What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Pitbull's Planet Lockhart Smoke Cabinet. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me each and every single week, do I get enough smoke in the smoke cabinet? And I'm gonna go over some of the issues that you guys might be facing and hopefully it helps answer some of your questions. It might not, I'm not 100% sure what the issues are in your particular Pitbull's Platinum Lock Club, but for me, I'm gonna show you what the issues that you guys might be occurring, what I have occurred and what I found and the solutions that I found. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go over each and every single detail to the best of my ability to help you guys out. There is guys, there is the smoke cabinet on the Pitbull's Platinum Lockhart. So let's take a gander inside of my smoke cabinet and please do not mind the smoke debris. Um, I just recently cleaned this about, I don't know, three, four weeks ago uh, from the time of this video. Uh, it's airing, so um, as you can see, I got plenty of smoke debris. That means that I got enough smoke. I've been using this unit for about two to three times a week during this pandemic, and uh, I like to cook outside versus inside. So um, let's take a look at the bottom grill. Let me get this open wider. And we're gonna talk about some of the issues that you guys might be facing. And if you can see down there, guys, there's some dents or dampers that needs to be open in order to uh, get enough smoke to go through the smoke cabinet. So, all right, guys, let's talk about that real quick. All right, guys, so we just want to go over some of the basics and the uh, features that this beautiful Pitbull's Platinum Lockhart offers just to ensure that we are getting enough smoke in all areas. So uh, the first thing first, hopefully this will help you answer some of the questions. And again, this might not help at all. I'm not 100% sure, but just to make sure, let's go over the basic features from A to Z. So as you can see right here, guys, we want to make sure that the, both of the smoke stack that you see right here are open all the way that way you can maximize the airflow to pull that smoke to travel from the bottom grill all the way in here. The next thing we want to make sure is that we're open all the dampers. And the final thing is just to ensure that there's nothing that blocks this vent and the vent right there, I don't know if you can see that guys, there's a bottom vent right next to the grate, um, just to make sure nothing blocks those vents for the smokes to travel all the way up here. So the next one I wanna talk about is strictly for those who are brand new to the pellet smoking world. So if you just purchased a Pitbull's pen and marker like this bad boy right here, or any Pitbull's uh, other grills uh, that has a pellet smoker uh, ability on it, or oh, even the other brands like Traeger, Red Tech, or you know Yoda, if you can afford a Yoda, this is strictly for those who are coming from a offset smoker or a stick burner. So I'm gonna use myself as an example of what I went through two years ago when I first came to the pellet smoking wheel. I mean, th it was a difficult transition because I was not informed or had the knowledge of how the pellet smoking wheel operates. So for example, on a Pitbull's Planet Marco or the Pitbull's Ocean XL or any other Pitbull's pellet smoker, you don't get the continuous smoke, you get a delay. And the delay is what frustrates me, for example. So it might frustrate you. So again, the issues that I had with the pellet smoking world is that I didn't understand it completely. So this little video clip or this video is to help you understand and hopefully it can adjust your mindset to say, hey, maybe this is what the issue is and maybe this will help me answer the questions that I've been having. So if not, then we'll go to the next topic. However, let's, again, I'm gonna use myself as an example. So two years ago when I first purchased my Pitbull's uh, Boston XL, it was a difficult transition. Um, the delay of smoke, it was bothering because on a uh, stick burner or offset smoker, you get a continuous smoke from the white smoke to the blue smoke. And that continuous smoke is something that you have to constantly babysit. So if you set it, for example, at 250 degrees, you're expecting 250 degrees and feeding the fire with you know, the airflow with the smokestack or the dampers. And it doesn't work the same way here with a pellet smoker. You set it on 250 degrees, it stays on at 250 degrees. You might as well give or take, you know, 10 to 15 degrees, depending on the weather. However, the smoke flip only comes during the combustion. So when the auger feeds the firebox from the pellets, and when it comes to the combustion during the firebox, that's when the smoke occurs. Therefore, there is a delay. That delay is a crucial impact of smoking to some, but it, on a pellet smoking world, it's not. 
that cycle repeats itself every single time when the uh, lid is open or when there's not enough airflow. And when the temperatures are dropping, it feeds the auger from the pellets to the firebox. And again, to produce that smoke once the pellets are in combustion cycle. So that's what I've been experiencing when I first came to the pellet smoking world two years ago. When I learned how to operate and manage that particular part and learn how to accept it, man, it produced some beautiful smoke meats. I'm telling you guys, that's the way that I'm gonna go from now on as far as smoking. Now I'm still have my offset uh, st and, and uh, stick burner that I personally use. I just don't use it on videos because you know it doesn't you know affect you guys as particularly in that aspect of it. But this particular video, I'm just gonna talk about the pitbulls platinum locker or why you guys are not getting enough smoke and that smoke happening. So hopefully that particular part is something that you guys might be experiencing. So maybe this will help you answer that question of why you're not getting enough smoke uh, because there is a smoke delay that travels from the auger to the firebox to the smoke cabinet because it travels up. That's the issues that some of you might be having. Again, if that's not the issue, this might not be the answer for you. But let's talk about how, and uh, let's turn it on and let's see how this operates so you guys can see the smoke that travels through the smoke cabinet. All right, guys, let's turn the power on. And today it's extremely hot because as you can see, it was 99 to 100 and back to 100. So we're gonna open our lid as always and wait for the rolling smoke to come on through. All right, guys, as you can see, we got our nice rolling smoke going on right now. I'm gonna close the lid and we're gonna crank the temperatures up to 250 degrees. And we're gonna wait for this to come up the top. Oh yeah, I really hope you guys can see that smoke just oozing out of the smoke cabinet. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's capturing on film, but man, it is really coming and oozing out. So, as you can see, I'm getting smoke right there. It's oozing out. I hope you can see that, guys. So, and I have it running about 250, but it's a little bit above temperature where I want to be, it's about 293. Um, it's really hot today, so that has a contributing factor. And I noticed that when you're running at a, at a particular high temp, this is what um, the smoke delay comes from because it's so hot. So we're gonna crank these temperatures on to 375 degrees. And I'll show you that there's more smoke coming out of this as well. Because we wanna get that smoke cabinet, as you can see, it's 199. We wanna get that smoke cabinet to at least 225. So that way you can see that there's more smoke coming out of it. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see the smoke. I'm sure you can, but as you can see, that smoke that you see right now that's continuous, that's the smoke that you are used to from the offset smoker or a stick burner. You're not going to get the same results on a continuous basis with a pellet smoker, such as this model right here, the Pitbull's Platinum Log Heart. All right, so in conclusion, guys, I don't know if you can see that we burn through another cycle of those pellets being in the combustion cycle mode. And as you can see, there's smoke, hopefully you can see that, but there's smoke oozing out of the smoke stack. So we wanted to cover for every single possibility that it could help hinder the smoke flavor to travel all the way to the smoke cabinet. That way it doesn't allow you to get all that smoke flavor that you are used to have from a stick burner or an offset smoker. Uh, but we cover pretty much all the bases that we can cover from the dampers, the vents, to the uh, smokestack being wide open so that natural air can draw that smoke to come on through also guys you can press that prime button that's on the display so the more pellets you feed the more smoke you're going to get make sure you crank your temperatures off from the bottom grill all the way to between two i mean excuse me three 325 to 375 and that way it draws the heat up to the smoke cabinet that way the more heat you get from the bottom grill to the smoke cabinet the more smoke you're going to get that is just my opinion i hope i was able to help answer some of those questions that you guys are having as far as concerns and then if this didn't help in your particular case in your particular situation then i apologize the other only other uh, concern that I might think of or actually uh, to my answer your question that you might have a defective unit that could be the case 
Um, and you know, if that's the case, then you might want to contact Pit Boss and see what they can do for you. If not, return the unit back to Walmart because you are under the three months warranty. You should be able to get your money back or get a different unit. It, it could happen. Sometimes stuff like this can happen and it can obscure the smoke from traveling all the way with smoke happening and have a delay on that smoke uh, sense that you are used to from the offset smoker or stick burner. So I hope I was able to help with, uh, answer those questions, guys. If you like barber game fun, this is your channel right here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet and share this video with all your family and friends who had the same issue and concern. So until next week, guys, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue. Peace.